Bob and Ron. And I'm the owner of the Shuck and Grill in Chicago. Now, if you haven't guessed by now, I'm 100% uh, discount what you can say. Okay. But I'm a little bit Creole. And I'm the only Creole Italian restaurant in the city of Chicago. So about a year ago, I stuck by the Louisiana Gulf Oysters, direct from the Gulf. Comes in a truck, little body bags of oysters, right out of the water, no middleman. It's a beautiful thing, if you know what I'm talking about. So, I got a good thing going. I got these beautiful Louisiana Gulf oysters. I got the Italian Creole restaurant going on. And then, all of a sudden, some tea drinking, low taste but limey, decides to blow up Papa Well, 40 miles from the Gulf of Louisiana. Go figure, huh? Now, all these rocket scientists are trying to figure out how to get the freaking oil out of the water, all right? Now, if you take water, water's like a big bowl of pasta, okay? I boil the water, you got all the water in there. Now, being Italian, we know how to do things. We invented plumbing, by the way, if you don't remember it, okay? So, now, two, three thousand years ago, okay, our ancestors, okay, we're the guys that make bread. You know what I'm talking about? You see this beautiful bread here? Okay. We've been soaking up oil. <laughs> Excuse me. Were you, uh, were you trying to get true? Okay. Excuse me. There's a limey bastard right there. Okay. I got a great idea for you, Big P. Listen. You know that guy that missed the ball on your team? First of all, don't use those gloves to soak up the oil. The next thing you know, if you were Italian and you missed the ball and you let the ball go through like that, you know what I'm talking about? The Colombians forget about it. Try doing that in South America. This is what I'm saying. Why don't you stick that lightning bastard down in the hole and plug the oil? I bet you everybody be happy in your country, too. That's what I'm saying. So listen, I'm talking about bread here. Nice old world style Pan Mariano bread or flour crust, okay? Normally, in Italy, two, three thousand years ago, we would take a nice pomace of olive oil, okay? This is what I'm saying right here. A lot of times we had an extra virgin olive oil. Oh boy, was she good, too. That's what I'm talking about, okay? You know what I'm saying? Okay. We had two styles of bread that we get. We get the old world baked bread, nice and tight crust flour on the top, okay? And then a nice kind of gooey consistency in the middle. Oil just kind of sits on the top. You really want to soak up the oil, but I'd recommend the baguette style bread, okay? Nice and tight in the middle. It's like a sponge. Boom. It takes a So you take a bunch of bread. Okay, you get all the bakers, the brown, the vanilla, you know, whoever I'm talking about. Okay, so you take a bunch of bread. You all get it in the golf, you break bread. Okay? You take your bread. Now, you can take your bread and you can dip it right in the oil. Okay? But that's not that's the oil. That's not a light fruit, okay? Down in Louisiana, they got a, a hot dark fruit oil. That's why we use the Cajun Chef right here. Okay. Now that that's what I'm talking about. See the Gulf of Mexico? Look at that beautiful man. See? Okay. You take the bread, you soak up all the oil. Okay? Now, if you want, you can take a little Romano cheese, crust it, a little black pepper. That looks like a bunch of shrimp bolts around there, bro, by the way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So then, and now, it's salt water, so you don't even need to add salt. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Okay. So all the oysters that I get them from Louisiana, okay? If the oil's traveling towards the oyster this way, okay? You just drop a bunch of bread in the way, just like this. You soak up all the oil, okay? You pull it out, and maybe you serve it in London for breakfast with your bread pudding, you know what I'm saying? Okay? Because if you guys don't stop getting the oil down there, I got a great way to do it. Now, if you want to use basil, that's like seaweed. Put fresh basil on top, so you got the seaweed, the kitchen chef. If you want a nice dark fruit, you use Louisiana hot sauce. This is what I'm saying right there, okay? So, this is what I call the BP bread pudding, okay? This is a kitchen chef Worcestershire sauce dark roux with an extra pomace, extra virgin olive oil, with nice pot mariano and fresh bread dipped in there, okay? And then we have a dark fruit with the Louisiana sauce, okay? You serve it with a size of Louisiana Gulf Coast oysters, and you got the BP bread pudding. And that's how I figured we could stop the oil from coming up there.